Here is how you use the Google Pixel 9 Pro or 9 Pro XL for beginners. So looking around the phone here, uh, the bottom, the left hand side, we have a speaker, we have the charging port, we have a microphone, and then we have the SIM card tray. On the right hand side of the phone, we have volume down, volume up, and the power button. At the top of the phone, we have the microphone, and this is the millimeter wave 5G band. So it looks like maybe you could open it, but this is just the 5G band. On the back of the phone, we have our camera system, we have a temperature sensor, and we have the flash. And on the left hand side of the phone, we just have nothing here. This may have a thing that says made in China, or you may have the regulatory labels depending on which country you are in. On the front, we have our front facing camera, we have the screen itself, and around here we have an under display fingerprint sensor. Inside of the box, you have your charging cable here, and so if I lift this out, you will notice there is no charging brick, so you will need to buy one separately. And we also have this little leaflet here. So if we pull that one out, inside of this leaflet, you will see the SIM card tray here. One thing that is missing this year on the Pixel 9 boxes is this adapter, which is USB-C to USB-A. This adapter is helpful if you are planning on transferring data, but it is not present in the Pixel 9 Pro boxes. If you want to buy the separate charging brick, as that will give you the best charging speeds, if you Google for the 45 watt charger Google Pixel, uh, we'll see the official Google store for the 45 watt power charger. Uh, so this is the brick you'll want to buy. It does cost an extra $30. If you don't use the Google charging bricks, the charging speeds will not be the fastest available. So you'll need to buy this one if you want the best charging speeds. Now, once we do have our phone, you may be wondering how do we insert the SIM card? So we will need to get the SIM ejector tool, which is in the box. And where we see this outline in the hole, we will insert the fin end of the ejector tool into the SIM card tray. Then we'll push down and release when the tray has partially ejected. We will then use our nails to take the tray out of the phone. So Google Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL has one physical SIM card slot, so you can't use dual physical SIM cards. And so we'll get our SIM card here. If your SIM card isn't recognized after it's inserted, you want to give this yellow contact part a clean. So you could just use like a t-shirt, microfiber cloth. And so we want to match the ridge of the SIM card tray with the ridge of the SIM card and it should click in place. If it isn't, then you may need to flip your SIM card tray the other way around. We will then match the hole of the SIM card tray with the hole of the phone and then the SIM card should push in to the Pixel 9 or 9 Pro XL. If you're having SIM recognition issues still, you may want to get your carrier to give you a new SIM card and that should solve the problem. So once we are in, how do we actually use the device? So by default, we will see the home screen here. And if we swipe up, this will show all of the apps which are installed on your phone. You will also notice we don't have buttons. We have this bar. So if you want to go home where this bar is, you just flick up and release to go home. And this applies to apps also. If you want to go back, you flick from right to left like that, or you flick from left to right. If we want to enter multitasking, as after closing out of an application, it still remains in the background, we're going to flick up our finger and then we'll hold it for a bit and then release. So flick up, hold, release, and then this will enter the multitasking. The phone will vibrate, and when it vibrates, that is your cue 
to release your finger from the touchscreen. So eventually you should be able to enter multitasking very quickly. And if we want to close out of all apps, we will swipe across and we'll tap the clear all option or where the app preview is, we can just flick up with our finger to close out of an application. If you want to get apps on our Pixel 9 Pro or 9 Pro XL, you use the Google Play Store. So opening up the Play Store, this is an app marketplace. We have the games category, the apps category, and if there's a specific app you want to get, you have the search here, and you can search for whatever app or game you want. So I'll do Fortnite. I'll do Call of Duty instead as Fortnite was removed from Google Play. And so we can see, you know, our games. And we can just tap the install option to install it onto our phone. And if you don't see the new install, remember if we swipe up, it should be somewhere here. On the side of the phone, we have these buttons. Now, if we just click the power button on its own, it functions as a power button, but these buttons can do more than one thing. So for example, if we long press both the power button and volume down, so we'll just click and hold these two and then release, that will take a screenshot of your phone. So if there's something you want to share or capture, we just click and hold, power volume down and release once we hear the animation. When we press and hold the power button, you will notice it opens up the Google Gemini or Google Assistant. So if we want to turn off the phone or enter the power menu, now we need to click and release both power and volume up. So we click release these two together. Make sure you click and release both buttons at the same time. This will enter the power menu, tap power off or the restart option. If our phone freezes or it just stops working for some reason, it's good to know how to force restart. So what we do is we press and hold both power and volume up. So I'll press and hold these two and we're just going to keep them held down for around 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, so we should see the screen go black entirely. And this is forcefully powering off the phone. And then after a couple of seconds, we will release. And then if we just press and hold the power button on its own, this will turn back on the phone. This is very useful if your phone ever stops working for whatever reason. You want to do a force restart and that will help solve the problem. If we want to see our notifications or access the quick toggle menu, if we swipe down from the top once, any notifications will show here and you can swipe to the left to dismiss a notification or you can tap that notification to open the app in question. We have the quick toggles, and so you just tap these to turn them on or off or to open more options. And if we swipe down again one more time, we have our brightness slider, and we have more quick toggles. We can swipe across to view all of these toggles like this. If you select the pencil, you can add or remove new toggles at your wish. If we want to take pictures, videos on the Google Pixel, we use the camera app here. And so Google phones have a slightly complicated camera app compared to other devices. So you have this camera icon. When this is selected, all of the modes you see here are picture modes. They take pictures in different ways and the camcorder icon will show all of the video recording modes. So I'll tap the camera icon, I'll select photo, and this center button here is your shutter button. You can use that to take a picture. Alternatively, you can use the volume button to take a picture as well. You have the zoom options, and you can tap between them, or what you can do is you can slide your finger across to change between the zoom like that and so I'll just take a picture with the zoom now this icon here will flip the camera so this will flip it to the front camera so using the front camera and the controls are virtually the same 
If you tap the settings icon with the camera, this will just show you your camera settings, which you can change here. If we go to the video mode, the general ID is the same. You tap that button to start a video. However, with the video mode, you can pause your recording and then resume it. And this icon will take a picture. That's useful if you're recording something, want to take a picture of it. All photos and videos can be previewed here, or you can access them in the Google Photos app. And so we can see the video I recorded and the pictures as well. There are a couple of things to note about the Google Pixel. The first one is this search bar. Many people want to remove it from their home screen. However, Google do not allow you to remove the search bar. You literally can't. If I go to the home settings, they outright remove the option in their operating system. Also, some little tips. Where this bar is, if you double tap it or hold it, you can see that if I tap continue and then I circle something, it will quickly search it in Google and let you know what it is. So if you see an image, you want to know what that image is, just hold this one down and then circle the search and then it will show you what that is. You may have remembered I said the Pixel 9 Pro and Pro XL have a phone monitor and there is a dedicated phone monitor app for this one. And so if we allow access to the sensors, we'll just go through. You just tap to measure and it will tell you the temperature. We can change it to the degrees. So it says it's 19 degrees on this cardboard. So I'll just put it close, 19.2. I use my finger, you can see 34.1. So an interesting sensor, maybe you'll use it, but maybe not. With Google Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL, they have removed the old Google Assistant. So this is the old Assistant. Now it's the Gemini. So if we long press the power button, this will open up the Gemini. And so this is essentially an AI chatbot, which you can talk to to do requests, like you can ask it to do a phone call or start a timer. You can ask it complex questions and it will answer it. And so this is the assistant here. If I tap that, I can send the request over and you can see it will do all that stuff. And finally, there are AI features on the device. So for example, you now have this new screenshot app and Pixel Studio. Screenshot app lets you search for your screenshots for information. Pixel Studio is a AI drawing app. So we'll download the model first. So here's an image I generated. Epic like and subscribe icon for YouTube. You can see it will generate that image from scratch. There's also AI photo editing tools. So if we select the edit option inside of a photo and we go to tools, you can see all of the AI tools here. So that's the beginner guide. Hope this video helps.